What's going on YouTube? This is ParkerLad88 coming at you with another video. And in this video, we're going to be doing a character breakdown for Zeo Gold. Similar to my other character breakdowns, we're going to be running through the move list, doing some combos, and then I'm going to talk about a game plan for Zeo Gold. So, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so let's start by talking about Zeo Gold's mobility. As you can see, his dash is actually pretty decent. His wave dash, however, not fantastic. It doesn't cover a whole lot of distance, and it's not particularly fast. Stick to the regular dash on this one. Let's talk about his normal based attacks now. We have Standing Light, which is pretty interesting because it actually does move you forward, so it has more range than it appears. We have Crouching Light, Standing Medium, which I personally think is his uh, best normal. Uh, all of his normals cover, cover around about this space, but I think Standing Medium is just the best of all of them. Crouching Medium. Standing Hard. And then Crouching Hard, which is his launcher. Moving into Command Normals, he has one Command Normal. Forward with Medium Attack will give you the Sparta Kick. Sparta Kick causes a Wall Bounce, which you can proceed to follow up later with uh, combos, which we will talk about later. Moving into Aerial-based attacks, we have Air Light. Air medium, and then we have air hard. Hold on a minute. Air hard. And then, of course, medium is your cross up. Kind of a shallow hitbox for it, but it is your cross up, believe it or not. Even though I missed it like a billion times. <clears throat> Alright, let's go into throw. EX. And super. As you can see, Zeo Gold's Super Dex doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but what it lacks in damage, it definitely makes up for in utility. Because, similar to Tommy, is just not as good. You can fill the entire screen with stuff, which will allow you to, like, go for mix-ups and shenanigans and whatnot. And then you can also use it as a, as a DHC, which there actually aren't a whole lot of uh, in this game. As you guys can see, you can cover the screen and then... If you can't do a particularly good mix-up with Zeo Gold, you can tag in someone who actually can. Kind of like Pink here, because uh, she does have this air dash, and then she also does have a uh, pretty ridiculous cross-up here. But, eh, that's that's for another video. <laughs> no teasers here. So once again, per pretty good super. A lot of utility, not a whole lot of damage. Let's talk about special moves now. Starting with neutral special, we have this uh, projectile here. It's very interesting because while it does have a lot of startup, you can fire like up to three of them at a time. This actually makes it a pretty good projectile and a pretty good uh, zoning tool because you can stagger them in any way you like. Now, let's talk about his uh, back special. Back special gives you the captain kick. He runs across the screen and then does this this double kick thingy. I don't, other than catching your opponent sleeping, I don't really know what the practical applications are uh, of this move. I don't think it's particularly uh, fantastical. It doesn't really give you a whole lot of combo follow-ups. I mean, you can do a light, and then after you do the light, you can actually get like a re like a reset, and then I don't know, maybe go for like a, a left-right mix-up or something like that. But other than that, this move doesn't really have a whole lot to offer. Now, let's go into his most important special move, and that is going to be the Gold Rush. If you do forward with special, you'll get this Gold Rush. As you can see, it has a hitbox, and if you press special again while you're holding forward, it'll put them in this stunned state as he proceeds to run through to the other side. As you can see, it puts him kind of far away from the opponent, so as far as like uh, doing combos, um, you're going to have to be um, pretty close to like three-fourths the screen just so you can actually connect with uh, the uh, standing medium into standing hard, which we'll talk about in his combos later. Now, the other thing about the Gold Rush is that similar to other characters, such as John Talbane from the Darkstalker series or Beowulf from the Skullgirls series, you can control what direction it goes in. You have to go forward first, so that's probably the only uh, not-so-great thing about this move. But after you go forward, you press the direction you want to go, and then tap the special button again, and you will go in that way. This allows us to go forward and back, forward and up, forward up back, forward up forward. So the other neat thing about um, 
the e about the gold rush is the fact that when you do the up one, he actually gets an air action out of it. You can use this to go for low to overhead mix-ups, or you can do left-right mix-ups, which by incorporating his um, his air special. While we're on the subject, let's talk about his air special. His air special does like a downwards uh, gold rush. This has no hitbox, but it does cross over to the other side if you're close enough to your opponent. As mentioned before, you can do this to do left-right mix-ups. Kind of things like that. It's a, it's a very interesting uh, special move, to, to say the least. All right, so now that we're done with our special moves, let's start talking about combos. We'll start with our auto combos here. Light. Medium. And hard. Medium auto combo, more importantly, the two hits. And the hard auto combo, two hits, are pretty important for actually doing uh, Zeo Golds, most of Zeo Golds, if not all of them, his combos. Now, let's start talking about uh, beginner combos. So, Zeo Gold has two beginner combos that are pretty easy to do. And the good thing about Zeo Gold is that a lot of his combos start the same way, which is going to be your crouching light into standing medium into the first two hits of your hard auto combo. And then from there, you can go into Gold Rush, or you can go into like EX Gold Rush. Now, if you decide to do um, regular Gold Rush, as soon as you uh, land the second hit, cancel that directly into Super. And it'll give you some okay-ish damage. Because once again, it's not a particularly high damaging move. So once again, you've got this. And then you have this. All right, now let's start talking about intermediate combos. As previously mentioned, all the combos start the same way. That's going to be your starter right there. Now, what you want to do from there, if you're close enough to the corner, and the reason why I say that is because mid-screen of how far it puts you away from your opponent, you have to be decently close to the corner so that at the very least, you can dash up and then do standing medium into standing hard, which is where we're going to go next. So, after you do your gold rush, you will then stagger medium into hard. After you stagger medium hard, you will then do the gold rush forward up and then forward so you should get something that kind of looks like this that's pretty much what you want after you do that you will wait for a little while and then you will then do the first two hits of medium auto combo and you will stagger them like that from there you will then finish up by doing ex gold rush so once again you get this into this, and then you'll get this. So altogether, you should get something that kind of looks like this. Pretty decent stuff. Now, second intermediate combo can either come from doing the Sparta Kick, or it can come from doing our basic uh, combo going into Super. I will show what both variants look like. For the sake of this, uh, we'll start with the Sparta Kick. So, you will do the Sparta Kick, and then as soon as you do the Sparta Kick, cancel that directly into Super. This will give um, the Super enough time to connect, because it does hit off the ground. You will then follow up with standing medium, standing hard, and you can just run over there so that you're actually close enough to actually hit the opponent after they get hit with the electricity. Um, and then after you do that, you will then do gold rush forward up forward. Sorry. Forward up forward. And then you will then cancel that into the X gold rush. Make sure you are snappy with your inputs when you are uh, controlling the gold rush because if you wait too long when you do the up one, you'll get this. No matter what direction you push. So make sure you're snappy with it. <clears throat> so, altogether, you should get something that kind of looks like this. Wait for the super to do its thing. Run over there so you're close enough. 
and that's what you get. Once again, you can also get this from doing our standard easy combo. <clears throat> Let's see if I can actually get this timing right. Oh, <laughs> I didn't get it. Um, but either way, you'll just do the same thing of this, this, this into um, EX Gold Rush. And that's pretty much going to do it for all of Zeo Gold's intermediate combos. Let's start going into the more difficult stuff. So, once again, going to start like this. Into our Gold Rush, we will then do standing medium, standing hard, into forward, up, forward. So you should be able to get something that kind of looks like this. Now, after we get that far, what we're going to do is the staircase combo, which I went over in one of my other, like, tutorial videos or whatever the heck. But basically, you'll do a staggered air light medium into air light hard after you uh, after they're already in the air uh, for our ultimate follow-up. So once again, you'll get this. And that's the timing that you want. Once again, that's the timing. So after you do that, as soon as you hit that heart attack, you want to do special. This is really important because it'll allow you to follow up and finish the rest of the combo. So after we do hard into special, or air hard into special more specifically, we will then pop over to the other side and then we will do forward up forward and then we'll go back down using just air special and then we'll finish up with the X gold rush. Now this part of the combo is a little bit wacky just because as far as getting used to the timing, you kind of just have to trust Zeo Gold where he's going to be and then get used to memorizing how he's supposed, supposed to move until it just kind of feels right, uh, or until you get used to the feeling. So basically um, this part. That's going to be the hardest part of this combo, but my gosh, if you get it, you're going to be like swag-tastic looking. Anyway, so after a launcher, you'll get this timing. Bop, 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 bop. That's about the timing you want. And as soon as he pops over to the other side, you want to go back and do the other gold rush. As you can see, you have, um, it's pretty snappy. The timing is pretty snappy, uh, as far as, um, when you can do actions out of his air special. It's pretty responsive. So, once again, once you get that, just make know that you're going to cross over to the other side, and then just do forward special into up special into forward special. And that's going to be the hardest part. So, once again, let's practice this part. And that's what you get. So, let's go ahead and do the combo from the beginning. Pretty cool stuff. All right, guys. So the last combo that I'm going to do for you involves um, basically integrating his super. Uh, once again, you'll be swagtastic, but unless it's going to kill, it's kind of not worth it. You pretty much want to end all of Zeo Gold's combos using his uh, his EX. So once again, we'll get this into this. Oop, sorry. <clears throat> into this. And then after we do that, akin to our intermediate combo, we'll do the first two hit, or we'll do the first two hits of our uh, medium auto combo. But you know, as opposed to that one, we'll finish the whole thing. So we'll get this, and that's the timing that you want for it. Now, akin to the Sparta kick, like I was telling you before, once you do the Sparta kick, which is the, the final part of his medium auto combo, you'll cancel that directly into super. This will give you enough time to get in the right position to follow up with his uh, gold rushes, of which case we will do um, forward up, forward again, and then we'll finish up with EX Gold Rush. So from Super, the timing is actually pretty tricky whenever you actually want to do Gold Rush. The key is kind of patience. 
the key is patience there. Um, just get used to how long they stay in the lightning for, and then as soon as it ends, do the gold rush. And then once you hit the ground, you should be able to do super, and, or sorry, not super, EX, and you should be all good. So let's go ahead and finish up with this combo. Alright guys, and that does it for all of Zeo Gold's combos, at least the ones that I've been able to figure out. Now, well, let's talk about Zeo Gold's game plan, and if you haven't figured it out by now, it's going to be his gold rushes. Mastery over his gold rushes is pretty much the most effective way that you're going to be wanting to play uh, Zeo Gold here. Getting used to where his gold rushes go whenever you do certain things, and then just using that to get mixed up on your opponent. If you get a hit on your opponent, and you're not close enough to the corner, this is just something I've started doing, you can do the this whole thing, and then once you do the gold rush, as opposed to running through them and going for the stun seat to give you combo, go up and turn it into a reset. You can turn it into a high reset, or you can turn it into a left-right uh, mix-up, because after you do hard, you can just do air special, go over to the other side, and then, you know, just keep it up. So you have that to offer, and then just getting used to that, using your assists, in order to get used to his gold rush movement. And that's pretty much going to be the key to how you want to do things with Zeo Gold. Um, normals are not fantastical. The fact that he actually gets buttons uh, out of the air whenever you do do the gold rush, as you can see there. And the fact that he has a decent projectile to zone with are also some, some things to help him out. But master those gold rushes and you will start doing pretty good with uh, Zeo Gold. Alright guys, and that does it for this tutorial video featuring Zeo Gold. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think, and I'll be back to you later with future videos. This is Parker Lad, and I will catch you guys next time.